Abby felt she wanted a new beginning but that it wouldn't be feasible while she was still living with her father in Las Vegas. Spoilers ahead, take note. Abby was a poker prodigy who played under the alias Lucky 13 in casinos in Las Vegas. Mick Abernathy, Abby's father, forced her to play poker games even though she was underage in order to get money. Abby had told her father that she wanted to finish school and go to college, but he wasn't allowing her do that because he understood that by forcing her to play poker, he could make money without actually working very hard. Abby had no choice except to flee her home, and she kept her whereabouts a secret from Mick because she knew that if she did, he would bring her home. The finest part of Abby's college admittance was that she would be sharing a room with America Mason, her best friend. Despite the fact that Abby was exhausted from the long trip from Vegas, America persuaded her to go with her and her boyfriend, Shepley, to witness a freestyle street fighting championship. Although Abby was confident that she would enjoy it, she met someone unexpectedly that day, and we could tell that she was in love by the way she was staring at him. Travis Maddox was a street fighting champion, and when he ran across Abby, he experienced a sudden rush of feelings and returned her energy. Travis was very forthcoming with his sentiments and made a date request for Abby. However, Abby remained in denial since she believed Travis was not the type of man she was searching for. Abby desired a more reliable partner, someone who took their work seriously and avoided foolishly entering fights for cash. When Abby first met Parker, they immediately hit it off. Everyone in that town seemed to be a lover of street fighting, including Parker, who took Abby to attend a contest. Travis wasn't aware that Abby was one of the contestants that evening, so when he noticed her dressed elegantly, he became a little irritated with her for delaying him and not returning his texts while out on a date with another man. Because Travis did not fit the idealized picture of a wonderful guy she had in her head, Abby refused to admit that she liked him and kept avoiding him. Abby was certain that Travis would lose that bout because of the way his opponent was mocking him while they were talking and because of how huge he appeared. Travis wanted to spice things up, so he and Abby made a bet where it was agreed that if Travis' opponent even touched him, he would refrain from having any flings or affairs for the following three months, and if the opposite happened, Abby would have to move in with him for a month. Abby consented to it, and when Travis successfully defeated his opponent without ever throwing a punch, she was shocked. Although Abby first had a lot of issues with the messy way the boys lived, she gradually began to develop an emotional bond with Travis after moving in with him. Travis made the decision to have supper and introduce Abby to his family at his father's house. Together, they made the decision to play a game of poker, but Abby quickly retracted their plans by claiming she had no interest in doing so. She recalled how her father had abused her as a youngster just from the game's name, and she even remembered the name of the game itself. One of the brothers said that she could join them in their games because they wouldn't be too harsh on her, which set off Abby. The brothers were stunned to see how well Abby did when she accepted the challenge. Abby's father began relating tales from the past about a man named Mick Abernathy whose daughter was a poker genius and used to follow him everywhere he went. Abby was lucky 13 and had been keeping this a secret from everyone, Travis' father discovered. The fact that the poker prodigy herself had vanquished the Maddox brothers, about whom they had only heard rumors up until that point, made them feel like rock stars. That evening, Travis and Abby had a sexual encounter despite the fact that Abby was still in denial and had been telling herself she didn't like Travis. When Travis noticed a text on her laptop, he initially believed that she had been seeing another man behind his back when, in fact, the communication was from her father. Travis was gone all night, which alarmed Abby because she had no idea where he had abruptly vanished in the middle of the night. Travis was relieved when Abby revealed that Mick was her father when he returned the following morning. Although Travis planned a pre-birthday surprise party for her as restitution, Abby was still angry with him for acting inappropriately when he saw her father's text. After a contentious argument, Abby and Travis made up because they both understood there was no use in trying to fight their feelings for one another. When Mick Abernathy re-entered Abby's life, she learned that he was deeply in debt and that Benny, the casino owner, wanted her to resume gambling and return his money. 
Despite Abby's first resistance, Benny dispatched his boy to bring her over, and despite her initial reluctance, Abby eventually consented to play just once more and settle the debt. Abby was unable to abandon her father because of how miserable he appeared to be at the time. Since Abby was still a minor, the possibility of her being discovered playing still existed. In a casino, Abby played at a high-stakes table and emerged victorious. An old buddy called Jesse Viveros, who worked there as the security head, met her as she was leaving the casino with the chips. Jesse explained to Abby that he was unable to permit her to accept the chips since he was aware of her age. When Abby suffered a nervous breakdown, she was unsure of how to inform Benny and her father. She made a call to her father and instructed him to hide out, get rid of his phone, and purchase a burner phone. She then proceeded to Benny's workplace to inform him of what had transpired. Abby didn't want to play poker for a living, despite what Benny had said, so she refused to play for him and instead demanded a cut of the winnings. Benny's office was broken into by Travis, who then battered Benny and his security personnel before escaping with Abby. In order to pay off Mick's debt, Travis made the decision to sign up for a street fighting tournament while Abby and he spent the night in a hotel. Since the opponent was not an amateur brawler but a deadly fighter, Travis was aware of the kind of risk he was taking. Abby had the biggest shock of her life while she was still trying to figure out where Travis had disappeared. It was then that she discovered she had been duped into thinking her father was in debt in order to get her to start playing poker once more. She had unintentionally spotted her father with Jesse, the person who had stolen her chips. Abby was devastated since her own father had betrayed her and destroyed her trust in the worst way conceivable. Travis was scheduled to fight in the arena, so Abby approached her father and told him she didn't want to see him ever again. She then rushed to the arena and saved Travis from getting himself killed. When Abby discovered a bag of cash in her car, she realized it was the exact sum of money that Jesse was planning to give her father from the casino where she had won it. Fortunately, Things turned out well, and Abby was now in an excellent situation financially as well as having a kind boyfriend who would help her pay for her schooling. Thank you for watching.